Greetings from Lenawee County in the great state of Michigan. I am the Lenawee Trucker. It is June 25th, 2017. I have yet another project to do involving this little bugger. Um, I got this thing from uh, E Trailer. Uh, it's got the part number on it 118450. It's basically the wire hitch for that little hitch right there. That little bugger. To get in there, we have to get the tail lights out here. Uh, tail light isn't that difficult to get to. It's basically you pull this little doohickey right here off. Uh, let's let's make this a little easier. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. Really complicated, ain't it, folks? Uh, let's get that little bugger out of the way. That's all it is. Uh, we gotta get these out of the way. Now, I bought these when I was doing the radio. And as you can see, they've got the little tabs in there. You just pop them up behind there. And then you'll work those little buggers out of there. Or you pop that one up in there and work that little bugger out of there. And that's all that is right there. Those little rubber clips. You gotta be careful when you pull those out because you can break them real easy. Okay. Come on. Come on, there you go. Now this just kind of moves out of the way. And then you've got these little doohickeys right in here. There's three of them. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. But there is three of them in there. Alright. Now, this. We'll just pop right on out of there. And as you can see, we have a little connector right there. Let's see what it's going to take to get that thing out of there. Wow. <laughs> you just got to push down right there. And it, um, it releases that little tab on the inside. I don't know if you can see it there. Now, the same thing for the other side. Let's just work on these right now. There we go. Pull this back down out of the way, revealing the same little screws, or little thumb screws. And then this little bugger comes out the same way. A little pressure right there. There we go. Alright, here's the instructions for this. Apparently it goes for the Buick Enclave and the Chevy Malibu. Which it just happens to have my car listed. Alright. Uh, tools required. Drill, Phillips head, screwdriver, 7mm seven, seven millimeter socket and ratchet with 7mm wrench. Buick Enclave, remove door taillight. Oh, forget the Enclave. 
Chevy Malibu, open the trunk and remove the vehicle's tail light assemblies. Done. Start by locating and removing the plastic cargo nuts. Done. On both sides of the trunk behind the tail lights. One per side. Done. Carefully pull the carpet back on both sides. Expose the plastic wing nuts on each side. Done. Remove the wing nuts and set aside. After removing the wing nuts, carefully pull the tail light away from the vehicle. Be careful not to damage the alignment pins. Done. On the driver's side, disconnect the vehicle wiring harness from the tail light socket. Plug the T connector end with the yellow wire in between the mating plugs on the driver's side, tail light socket, and the vehicle wiring harness. On the driver's side, root the T connector end with the green wire and the wire with the um, four flat connector down through the opening between the vehicle bumper and the body. Root the T connector end with the green wire to the passenger side and route the uh, four flat underneath the bumper. Route the wiring. Uh, warning, route the wiring. Be careful to avoid any hot pipes, heat shields, fuel tank, or any other points that may pinch or break the wire. Route the T connector with the green wire through the opening in the passenger side, being careful to avoid areas that could, could damage wiring. Repeat step two for the T connector on the green wire and then put it all back together. All right, this goes right here. The rest of this stuff goes down, snake it down. Come on, baby. Come on. Gotcha. This little bugger also gets snaked down into there. And yeah, you can see how this thing works here. Oh, let's see if we can't pick that up. Right up in there. Woohoo! Sweet! Now. Can I get that little ground? Nah, I probably have to use a self-tapper, right? Right down there, or right in there somewhere. All right. There we go. I'll just bring the other part of it up, pull that right on up. This is ready to go. This is how hard this thing is to wire up. That goes there. I guess that can go right down into that little clip right there. Hold that right there. And then this one goes right down into there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Try to slip that back in there like so. Put those little wing nuts back into place. Get that one up on top. Okay. Now I'd like to have that 
someplace where I can get at it. <laughs> All right, you don't need this thing on power drill. Close this thing down and just start the damn screw. That's all you need to do. I'm going to put it right there. Right there. Yeah, let's go forward. All right. Now, I take this little bugger. That's a real important connection right there, folks. That is the only ground you're going to get to this piece. That's your white one right there. Yeah, you might get a ground through the hitch, but it's going to be sporadic. That's what's going to cause your lights to flash and all kinds of weird stuff to happen. Okay, and now we do the same thing on this side. Snap. Same thing on this side. Let's just put this thing right down. Right down there like so. Snug that thing right down into there. Pop that back into place. All right. Get a couple screws on there. Oh, that's good. Just drop it down inside the frame of the car. So that'll seal back up. Now, the whole job doesn't take very long. Now, granted, yes, you're seeing a different light signature on here because a friend stopped by and we chit-chat for about an hour and a half or so. Never want my friends to feel like they're not welcome. These things are invaluable. You can get these like at Advanced Auto. You got buy a whole pack of them for like ten bucks. They're cheap. Waha! Aren't there supposed to be clips down there or something? Sweet. And that's the end of that. Left turn signal. Yes. Right turn signal, yes. All right, we're gold. And that's how hard it is to install one of these things.